If you want to use a font on your site other than one of the 14 that Profoto offers by default, first check to see if one of the fonts in our integrated Google font area will work for you. If you haven't already, go to profoto.com slash support slash custom fonts overview to learn more. If none of those fonts suit you, then your next option is to upload a custom font to Profoto in Profoto Customize Fonts Upload Custom Fonts. However, you can't upload a plain font file directly. First, it needs to be in a very specific format. All fonts you upload to your Profoto site must be in the format of a web font kit zip file downloaded from either fontsquirrel.com, fontspring.com, or myfonts.com. All fonts from Font Squirrel are completely free, so most people choose to use their service. Just be aware that some of Font Squirrel's download links take you to fontspring.com, where many web font versions, which are the ones you'll use, are free. MyFonts.com offers an even wider selection of fonts, but they are mostly for purchase. All told, there are a number of ways to get your desired font in the right format for uploading. First, you can go to fontsquirrel.com and browse through their list of free, commercially licensed fonts until you find what you want. If you don't know what you want, you might try looking through the popular list or clicking a classification or tag that appeals to you. If you find one you like and want to use, click on the font name directly. Many of their fonts have a web font kit tab at the top of the individual font page. Open this tab, then click the download link, which will give you the web font kit file in the format you need. Make sure your web browser doesn't automatically unzip the file after downloading, since you'll need it in zip format to upload it to Profoto. Another option is to use Font Squirrel's web font generator to convert a font file into the required web font kit. Some Font Squirrel fonts do not offer a direct web font kit download. In these cases, Click to download the OTF or TTF font file directly. Unzip the zip file you'll receive. Then click the Web Font Generator link back at Font Squirrel. Click the Add Fonts button. Locate the OTF or TTF font file in the folder you unzipped. Check that your file is legal for web embedding and let Font Squirrel create your own web font kit file for you. Finally, download the zip file they provide to you. If you already have a font file that you want to use, like a system font for example, then use this same method to create the required web font kit from that font. Web font kits from fontspring.com are also compatible with Profoto. Some fonts in the Font Squirrel repository don't offer a direct download of either the web font kit or the original font file. The download link for these fonts are marked by the word off-site. These off-site links will take you to the fontspring.com page for that particular font. To download your font for free, click web for the type of license, then scroll down until you find a free option and then add it to your cart. View your cart, go to checkout, and then download the web font kit zip file, which you will then upload to Profoto. You may have to sign up for a free account before you download if you haven't already. Both the free and the for purchase web font kits from fontspring.com are compatible with Profoto. Profoto is also compatible with web fonts downloaded from myfonts.com. There, find the font you want, add it to your cart, go to checkout, creating an account if you need to, accept the terms, place your order, and download the web font kit. You'll be able to upload this directly to Profoto. No matter which method you use, 
Once you have a correctly formatted web font kit zip file downloaded and on your computer, you can upload the file back inside your Profoto admin area. Once it's uploaded, the new custom font will be available for selection in all of the font selection areas throughout the Profoto customization interface. You're welcome to use more than one custom font. Just know that they add a slight fraction of a second to the initial loading speed of your site, so it's best to use only one or two. You never have to upload a font more than once, even if you start over with a new design. Every font you've ever uploaded or that is included in any of the included or purchased designs will be available for selection without having to upload again. Once you click the Set Font button, you'll see two links at the top of the Uploads page. Choose Uploaded Font and Choose Starter Font. The uploaded fonts are those that you have uploaded to any of your designs or that are part of a design you purchased. The starter fonts are all the fonts used in the free starter designs that automatically come with Profoto. Simply scroll through the fonts, click on the one you want to use, and select Use Selected Font. 